Hi, today I'm going to be taking you through how to install Funquil on Debian using Docker. So first off, we're going to navigate to the funquil.audio page. Uh, this just gives an overview of what Funquil is. It's a decentralized platform. Uh, some of the things it does. But we're going to scroll down to the documentation part. Uh, these are some of the requirements. You need a dedicated domain or subdomain and access to port 80 and 4434 HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, we'll just scroll down a bit to the Docker installation part and click that. So we're going to be using the multi-container since the mono container is no longer used. Okay, uh, so we need to install curl. So we're going to install curl using the apt forward slash get install curl command. As this does that, we are going to go to the Docker page so that we can install Docker. Uh, since I'm using Debian OS, uh, I'm just going to click on that. I'm just going to copy and paste the command so it's easier for me. I'm just going to fast forward this a bit since it takes a while. Okay, uh, now we're back to the documentation page. Uh, we're going to export the version we want, which is 1.2.10. Uh, that's the current stable version. Once that's done, we're going to make a directory for Funquil where all the files are going to be stored on there. Then we're going to change into that directory and then make another directory for the Nginx configurations. Then we're going to run these curl commands, uh, changing the Funquil version variable to the 1.2.10. After that's done, we're going to make the environment file which has most of the configurations and change the permissions so that not everyone has access to this file or folder.
uh, we're going to generate a Django secret key and store it in the configuration file, the env file. After that, we're going to nano into the environment file and copy and paste it there and also change a few more configurations like the host name and protocol. After you're done changing the configurations and adding the secret key and the host name, you're going to con press Control O, then Control X to save and exit. Then we're going to pull the Docker image with Docker Compose pull, uh, but we're going to take out the hyphen since it doesn't work with that. We are also going to pull the database, which is Postgres, and create a super user. Uh, you're going to use the uh, super user credentials later on to access your uh, account. After that's done, we're going to start the whole thing up with uh, docker compose up dash d. Uh, you can check if it's running with docker container list to see the running containers in that in that folder. Then we're going to navigate to the loopback IP, which is 127.0.0.1, port number 5000. Now Funko is up and running. You can log in, check some of the features. Yeah, but this works mostly locally, so you have to connect to your domain name or subdomain for you to be able to access it externally.
Okay, thanks for watching.